In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Camon 16 Pro and we're going to be finding out, is it still good in 2023? What's up, welcome to Tech Select. My name is Linus. And uh, like I said earlier, we were talking about the Camon 16 uh, Pro in 2023. Does it still qualify as a good phone? Is it something you can go out and buy? You know, especially now that they are very, very available in the second hand market. Now it's almost uh, about two years ever since Techno released the Camon 16 Pro and uh, even from when the back in the days when it had just been released it was one of those most talked about phones of its time. Now looking at it over here in 2023 we want to find out is it still worth considering for you to buy. So let's start with the specifications of this particular phone to see if it does actually cut it in today's modern day and age. Now the Camon 16 Pro comes with a 6.8 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1640 pixels. It's powered by a MediaTek Helio G processor and this also does come with 6 GB of RAM. The 6 GB of RAM in here is also accompanied by 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Very amazing appetizing specs right there for this particular phone and I think it does actually does come to par with you know the modern day and age of phones that are being released uh, these days out to the market. Now talking about uh, cameras over here when you flip it over to the back it does come with a quad uh, camera setup over here with the main sensor being 64 uh, megapixel the primary sensor over there and an 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor right there so these here all work together to produce you the best possible image the depth sensor is what's responsible for giving that beautiful bokeh and of course your main sensor is a 64 megapixel one uh, so you have actually a very good amount of you know zoom range in case you want to uh, zoom into your picture the megapixels are just adequate enough now talking about uh, the front cameras over here when you do flip this over here to the selfie mode you do have a 16 megapixel selfie camera and then the other lens that you see there because as you see it has two punch holes um the second one is more of a depth sensor just to make sure you have a good blurry uh, background right there from your selfies so pairing this device in the background right there is a 5000 milliamp hour battery and this does also support an 18 watt fast charging so that you can get to your full charge a lot faster and get back to enjoying your phone. Now, a little bit more highlight on this particular camera. The 64 megapixel uh, main shooter is just adequate enough for whatever it is you're doing. Um, as you can see, these are some sample photos. I've taken uh, some pictures from outside, just a couple of plants, a couple of environmental pictures, just looking, showing you that the amount of detail the 64 megapixel shooter does capture on this phone are still really, really great, still very adequate. The colors are not so bad, and it also gives you a very, very uh, good, beautiful all-round picture. Switching over to the selfie mode as you can see right here selfie does give you some good uh, images as well so you can actually do get a lot of great shots from this uh, phone right there now let's flip over to the battery see battery is everything because it doesn't make sense if you have all these great great features and then you're always having to stay seated at the charging uh, station uh, right there now this phone uh, like i said earlier does come with a 5000 million hour battery and in my experience this has been adequate enough it has taken me a day a day and a half with constant usage this is the kind of phone where i can leave home with battery at 40 percent and i'm not really worried that you know i'm going to run out of juice anytime soon and can definitely push me through the day when i'm doing light work even when i'm doing heavy work as long as i live with 100 percent battery i know my entire day is covered so the battery in this device is just sufficient enough and it actually does outcompete some of the modern day phones now it also does support fast charging now fast charging will allow you to charge your phone a lot faster but that is only when when you're using an 18 watt charger now talking about the display right here i think this is the only downside i have with this particular device is that the display isn't the best out there it's not the brightest it's not the highest resolution it's not the highest refresh rate now this display is a 720p display right there but 
adequate enough for you when you're viewing your things and gives you quite good clarity but i feel like for the kind of chipset that is pumped in it it should have been a slightly higher you know display especially resolution right there so mm -hmm. in my view the only downside i have with this phone is you know the display isn't the best you can get but it is actually better than some phones in the market even today and then also this does not support 5g although well in uganda very few people have I don't even think we're the provider that provides 5G as of the shooting of this video. There are rumors of one launching, but it hasn't yet been uh, launched right there. So perhaps the biggest selling point for the Common 16 Pro right now in today's modern day era is the price point. The kind of hardware you're getting for, you know, the, 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 the pricing right now gives you added advantage as opposed to you buying an entry level phone that you can have a very good a pro phone like this. And the pricing is very competitive. And on the second hand market right now, you can grab this at really, really competitive amazing prices so this would be something that's a great selling point for this uh, Camon 16 uh, Pro right here. Yeah, so these are some of the bits and pieces uh, that I've picked up for the Camon 16 Pro and we get to ask again is the Camon 16 Pro still worth it in 2023? My answer is definitely yes. It's not the most cutting edge phone you can get right now but hey it does give you very very good value uh, for the money. The camera is really great that 128 8 GB internal storage is amazing. 6 GB RAM, it will never freeze on you. And I must say, the images that it does actually produce are really, really great. So, is it worth it? A big, big yes to that. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, go ahead right now, hit the subscribe button, notification bell so that you are alerted each time a brand new video does drop on this here channel. In the meantime, you can watch any of these videos that you can see popping up right now. And definitely remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe notification bell as well. But for today, I'll see you in the next video.